Hi guys, I'm actually traveling in time to you here. I've just finished editing the vlog and the opening scene that I had for this vlog was me back home walking along the moors and vlogging and talking to you but the wind was just so loud and I couldn't edit, I couldn't get the sound right even in editing it. So I'm just here to do an introduction for the vlog. Um, I obviously went home for a weekend um, which is why I was walking on the moors. I just had a bit of a week where I really wanted to see mum so I went back and did that. And we went to Whitby, which is what you're about to see now, and just had a really nice chilled weekend there. Well, one night there, it was lovely. I haven't been there in years and years and years. We used to holiday there every year when I was little. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's like a North Yorkshire seaside town. It's not like one, it is one. Um, and yeah, so that's what you're about to see now. And then I come back to London, as you can tell here. Um, and yeah, I just got the train up north and it was really, really easy, really like super quiet had a little four to myself with my mask on. It was really good, so I feel good about going back up north. More often now, if I want to, I'm just being able to do it on the train and things. Um, but yes, I had a lovely time there, and it was lovely to see mum. It already feels like forever ago, but I just needed to come on and do this introduction so that what you're about to see next actually makes sense, because, like I said, the thing that I had filmed had to be scrapped because it was just wind while I was doing my long walk on the moor. So, let's just begin with the vlog now. in a minute but I just wanted to let you know I remember when I did that sponsor video with Vestiaire back at the beginning of lockdown not even the beginning but when I was back up north and the um the net sales from all the things that I did on Vestiaire and Depop throughout lockdown are uh, we decided we we're going to donate to Solace which is a charity for um women's women's aid but specifically around domestic violence which Obviously, it's been so heightened throughout lockdown. Um, anyway, I've been waiting for all of the stuff to sell. Just made a donation of £1,327. How good is that? So that was all of the Vestiaire and Depop sales. So thank you to anyone who bought anything. This has all gone to a wonderful cause. So I'm really chuffed with that. Thank you, everybody. Um, so yes, and then going forward, we'll put the description online, but we're going to do a um, percentage of sales going to different charities, not always um, one for people living in domestic violence, but we'll vary it um, month on month or every couple of months or something. But I'm so chuffed with that. Um, right, as I said, I'm back home. I'm just, it's quite hot here. It's cold up north, it's hot here. Um, so I'm just going to quickly not have a jumper on, get changed. And then we're gonna rush and drop some film off. And then that's the plan. Linda, darling, is it you? Hello, hello. Hello, I've been gone for the weekend. You must have been worried sick. But 
I'm back. Oh, I'm pissed off in there, see? Mm, really? Mm. Come here. Come here like that. What's the matter with you? I smell of Daphne, maybe. Is that the problem? I smell of another cat. How dare I? Oh, come on, Belinda. We're going to go get changed. Good morning, guys, from a shiny, clean me. Just did a workout and had a shower. It's um, Tuesday morning. This is the last day of vlogging before this goes live tomorrow. Just made myself coffee. I bought some coffee pods. Is this working? From a brand called Halo. That um, they're all. Uh, Lindsay recommended them to me. They're all. Um, what's the word? De they all um, decompose fully. They look like this compared to. So they're all like papery compared to the espresso ones, which look like this. So. Because um, I did buy this reusable one, which I never told you all about, but it's shit. It's a waste of time. It doesn't seem to be working fully. Let's leave this dreadful background noise and let that work itself out. I mean, I just did a workout, which was good. Um, and that's finished now, as soon as I've come in here. And it's a nice day today, so I'm going to do a bit of work and vlog with you guys. Look online for white jeans for testing basics. I keep looking, but I'm struggling to find any. Does anyone have any high-end brands in particular they would want to see on this? Really actually find it harder than I thought I would. Um, and I want like straight, like the kind of, the style of jean we all love, but just a white pair, and I'm finding it quite difficult. So let me know if you have any recommendations for that. Um, my skin's not great at the moment. It's been really good if I do say so myself for quite some time. Um, but I'm doing my period, so I'm hoping it's just that since it's all around my mouth and things. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get on with some bits of work today. I dropped loads of film off yesterday. So I'm so excited to get that back. I can't wait, because I feel like I've not had film I'm excited about for such a long time. And it was just that oh, I shot in Whitby over the weekend, which ended up just being more of like an ambient vlog, which I hope you don't mind. but. Mum and I were just having a really nice time together and being chilled, so it was kind of quite nice to leave it that way. Um, and that's the first time she's been anywhere since March, so like I shot lots of film photos, but it was quite nice not to be vlogging it as well. Um, I quickly want to talk about a book, The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I finished this last night. I think this has to be one of my favorite books I've ever, ever, ever read. I literally just, I didn't want it to end. I was trying to ration reading it, but also I didn't want to stop reading it. It was so good. And I put on Instagram stories that this is like my kind of book to a T, but I'm still struggling to put into words what makes it my kind of book. I'm gonna try now. I think for this, I think I enjoy something where there's quite like a big emphasis on the landscape that they're in. And it's like, I really love, so, I'm doing a bad job of this already. The favourite, this, this and A Fine Balance by Hint and Mystery, I think are my two favourite books that I've read this year. And so when I was thinking about what are the similarities, they both, yeah, place such an emphasis on the environment and the landscape and feel like they make just the atmosphere so rich. And bear in mind, A Fine Balance is set in India. This is set in Vermont. So very different landscapes and areas as well um so that definitely is something that's really important to me when reading things and um lots of people also let me know let me know on instagram that this would come under a genre called dark academia which i googled and it was it's not a genre of literature necessarily and more like i thought almost like a way of life if you wanted to live like a dark academic or live a life of dark academia um which is where you would be very interested in like learning and the process of learning and the philosophic the philosophy behind learning and there would be like certain stereotypes of it like you just study the classics you would listen to lots of classical music you would dress in a certain way and that this de book definitely has all of those themes in it um and it's about like a group of students studying ancient greek um so definitely like i think i am interested in and as a person, I'm very interested in learning all the time and want to learn more all the time. So that made sense to me why I was 
that as a theme was I really enjoyed. And also I think the characters, like they were, I was just so invested in all of them. The only one I wasn't was Julian, the tutor. All right, we're out memory on the memory card. Um, I loved, loved, loved this book. I will read Goldfinch, I haven't read it before. Um, I'll order that, but I've just got so many books to get through at the moment. I'm gonna hold off for a little bit, but just absolutely loved this and just wanna get better identifying exactly what it is that is resonating with me so much with certain books. Next, which I'm gonna to start today, is Natives by Akala, um, which hopefully will give me more of an insight in um, racism within Britain, which I know was a point lots of you made when I was first talking about Black Lives Matter and what I want to do going forward in terms of educating myself with that, was not to focus too much on the American um, history and the American experience, basically, because it's just as relevant in the UK. So this has been highly recommended, and I'm really looking forward to reading this. So we've got a bit of non-fiction next, um, and I'm going to start that today after I have drunk my coffee and gone through my emails. I'm just about to have one of my favourite lazy lunches, which is literally just avocado, cherry tomatoes, really nice tuna, one called Calippo, which is from Italy, and it's so good. Really good olive oil, lots of salt, lots of pepper, and chilli flakes. It's so quick, but really tasty and really fills me up. Oh, guys, I ordered a bookshelf from Muji. It's just arrived. We're going to attempt to build it right now. like in the living room or under the bed because I like how all that is looking so and the whole point was that I could have this to fill it up so at the moment only one shelf is full but I think when it's just going to fill up through time it will look really 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 nice I'm really pleased with it it was relatively easy to build I did nearly fall downstairs a few times but we got there and yeah I think it looks really good I am just heading out to a friend's for dinner in the garden so I thought I'd show you my outfit because I quite like it Got a tank top on which was sent from, from to me from LA. The oh one second, I'm a bit overexposed here. Let's just rectify that issue. Um the Chanel belt, which I thought I'd lost. These came today in the post. They're from Arquette, some linen trousers. They're really good. They do them in a cream as well. They've been gifted to me, but I might ask them to also send me the cream pair because I love the fit of these and they're just be such a good pair for summer. They fit really nice over the bum and everything. Um, I think they're really, really, really nice. I got them in a size 34, the smallest size that they do, because I find their trousers often come up quite big. Um, but I'm so, so, so pleased with them. And yeah, the cream ones I'd get a lot of wear out of as well. So loving these. The length is great. Some new shoes also. These are from a brand called LM. I've had bags from them in the past, which you might remember. Um, but their shoes this season are really nice and all this these was also sent to me I've been gifted a lot of things recently, which is lovely um, And I just got them in a nice light tan because I don't really have any tan Slides and yeah, this is my outfit. I just take a jumper in my bag and um, I just need to nip to the shop to get some wine to take over um, But yeah, I really really like this. I feel really nice in this so I'm just gonna Have a quick whiz around and a tidy up before I set off 
and then that is me for the evening. I'm really, really looking forward to actually catching up with people. I've had quite a solitary day and feel a bit weird for it. Sometimes I'm fine having days like that, but other days I just get to the end of the day and I'm a bit like itchy and scratchy to see people or just feel super restless, which is how I feel today. It's my own fault because I actually haven't been out anywhere. I've just been in all day doing stuff. Like doing all the washing and you know boring life things been waiting on film all day that hasn't come back as well which is so annoying so hopefully i'll get that tomorrow but i was hoping to get some new stuff up on the blog alas that was not meant to be today hopefully i'll get the film back tomorrow hello guys it is a gorgeous glorious wednesday morning um i just do the last bit of vlogging i'm just going to a local plant shop to get a plant for my new bookshelves I'm determined not to go and buy lots of stuff I don't need, like I'm not going to go out and buy books for the sake of filling it. I'm going to let it evolve naturally, but I do want to get a plant and maybe like something decorative, which I'm going to try and do this morning and um, show you guys all of that basically. But whenever I buy stuff for something too specific, it's where I always end up not liking it basically. So I just don't want to make that mistake. Um, and just, like I said, take my time with it all, get things on it that I really love. Um, but there's some great plant shops around here, so that should be easily done. And this is a scorcher of a day. It's beautiful. It feels like summer. I'll show my outfit when we get back in, but it's all old pieces. But um, I feel nice in it, so I'll show you all of that. But for now, we plant shop. really lovely just textured grey pot because the books are going to bring a lot of colour into the shelf I think this needs to go actually this has got too much colour in it I want everything else to be really neutral and the only colour to come from the books so that's going to grow down and then I just bought this it's actually a terrarium vessel um, but I thought I might just get some flowers in it maybe try have just some short white flowers of some sort this has definitely got a hell of a long way to go, but we're getting there. My next trip out is to get a bigger pot for, or well actually maybe I'll just repot it in that pot. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna repot this plant in there, because it's in a small one, and I think it can grow a bit bigger. And also replant, repot a basil plant I've got outside. Guess he spent the afternoon set out with a friend and has really messed up, for God's sake. For some reason, when I'm sat out like chatting, I don't feel as aware of the sun as if I was sunbathing. I had cream on as well, but I've literally just been sat down in the sun for hours. Um, just have a sip of water. Yeah, I've just got back in. It's, I don't know what time it is actually. I'm working about 5 30. I'm just going to show you some bits and then edit this vlog for the evening. I just nipped into, I met a friend at Elephant Castle and walked there. And on the way, we walked past this amazing kitchen shop, and there was two kitchen things I needed. One was a wine stock and one was a colander. So I thought all the way back I'll nip in there so I can get those two things. Um, and obviously ended up getting other stuff as well. One of the thing, other things being like a micro plane cheese grater because I've only got like a big block one and I wanted a handheld one. So I've got that. Um, and then I got my wine stopper. Not very exciting, but I just need, I've been needing one and a colander, which I have needed for ages and have not had, and I've been using a sieve where possible. But then I ended up getting distracted. So this shop called Borough Kitchen, it's near Borough Market, and they have loads of this beautiful um, crockery, which is by a brand, I'm gonna say this wrong, but it's called Pilivoot, Pilivoot, it's French. And it's just the most beautiful, classic, um, is this crockery or is crockery? Yes, this is crockery. Um, it's just gorgeous. And all the stuff that they have in this shop, the lady was telling me, is second hand. And they get two deliveries a year. But it's all in perfect condition, but it's about half price. It's an expensive brand. 
but it's just so simple. So I've got this for olives. I treat myself to a mug, which I'm really excited about. The mug's like a good, just, I know it looks like nothing, but like, it's so light and just, I love the simplicity of it and ev everything. This light is, lighting's perfect for me to be showing you as well, actually. It's just gorgeous, like, oh, just one of those things that's a joy, just in its simplicity and everything. Um, and then I got a couple of plates. I wanted because again they're just gorgeous and so simple so they're like this just a really shallow big dish which I'll get a lot of use out of the pasta and which is kind of the main thing I eat and now with my tissue paper so yeah I just got two of these and they're so simple and I'd love to like slowly build a collection but I love the fact it's all like second hand and it really is in that perfect condition as well um so I'm so chuffed with that even though that was not the plan um, buying something but here we are um I also just went to Tesco I've got some roses to put in that vase on the on the shelves upstairs um, but I might make myself a cup of tea in my new mug because it's just gorgeous. I'm so pleased with it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to sign this vlog off here so I can go and edit it and put some after sun on. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.